and we're going to configure network address translation NAT on this topology. I've already completed the topology due to time constraints and these are clean routers with no configuration for NAT and as you can see in the show run there's nothing on there we need to configure the interfaces also but I will explain first NAT um, actually maps these private hosts on the inside to public addresses on the outside network and this does so on the network layer. Um, this differs from a proxy server because a proxy server is used between clients so when they request a service or a web page the proxy server looks at the request according to its filtering rules. Um, the date sometimes the data is already cached and in this case the outside source isn't even contacted. Um, it's similar to that because it keeps it keeps everything anonymous for uh, the private users anonymous to the to the outside and um, a proxy server can also be used to block specific web pages or um, log internet usage so let's get our configuration going here um, go ahead and configure our First IP on interface fast Ethernet, and we're going to make this the um, 10 network. Um, with a 24 bit subnet mask, this is a class A private address. And we're going to go ahead and put our NAT in the inside for fast Ethernet zero. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And so you can see the green light goes on. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and configure our interface. Let me get that right. Serial zero. Yeah, I think it's zero. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a show IP interface brief just to make sure. Yeah, we got serial zero zero zero. Okay, so we want to go ahead and we're gonna make this one nine five. Dot one dot one the zero dot one dot one with the twenty four bit subnet mask and this is going to be our outside NAT great and no shutdown to turn it on go ahead since we have hosts on the inside we're going to go ahead and set up DHCP. And we'll make that DHCP pool for the 10 network with the 24 bit subnet mask. Default router is ours, and our DNS server is, well, we're not going to configure that right now, but um, we have our configuration for router 1. So far, we'll go to router 2. I've just reloaded them. Enable configure terminal. And we're going to go ahead and configure our serial on the same, well, on the 195 subnet. So we want our the 195 network, 195.0.1.2. Two with a 24 bit subnet mask, and we're going to go ahead and turn it on. 
Okay. Now, pass Ethernet zero zero. We're gonna go ahead and put this in the one ninety five dot zero dot zero dot one to fifty or the twenty four bit subnet mask. I shut down and um okay those are on everything's on we're gonna go back to router one and we're gonna go ahead and create a we're gonna go ahead and create a static route to one ninety two the destination which is the one ninety five network on the outside with the subnet mask of 24 bit and our forwarder forwarding router the next hop is um 195.0.1.2 okay so we have all of our configuration done we're gonna go ahead and make our access list to show run show, I'm sorry show run as you can see we have interfaces everything's up we're gonna go ahead and make our access list one permit we're gonna permit, permit everything from the 10 network we're gonna match the wild card with the first three octets and the last one can be 0 to 255 and we're gonna get that set up. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our NAT pool. NAT pool of 195.0. We're gonna go with 1.42. This is the range. 195.0.1.30. And our net mask is gonna be 24 bit. Okay. And then we wanna do our inside we want to map our source list so you can also do static specify static local global mapping um, source list one I think it's pool yeah pool and we're gonna go with our nat pool that we just created um, and that and we'll save our configuration okay so um, our server we don't want to forget our IP for the server we're going to go ahead and set that up default gateway of 1 195.1 1 network um, let's see if this Machine got its configuration. DHCP requesting IP. Uh, it successfully got the address. Okay. Now let's see if we can actually um, ping the web server. 195.0.0.4. Give it a second. <coughs> Okay, as you can see, it's returning, it's responding to the web server, which is over here. And just to make sure, we're going to go to our web browser 0 0.0.4. And as you can see, our NAT is working. But just to make sure, we'll go here, show IP NAT translations, and there you go. And that is working. We'll even go with um, statistics. And as you can see, everything's set up accordingly. Um, and that is NAT. Basic NAT configuration.